All right, so tonight we have a rising star in dancehall. The girl them call him the sauce boss. The man with the most digital credit in Jamaica <laughs> right now. Kemar, manners and respect for all on the show, Jenna. Manners, respect Thank you and love every time. Definitely. Yeah, man. First thing we just want to clarify, right? Is it Haikon or, or Icon? Haikon with it's an H. So I replaced the alphabet I with the word Hi. All right, see there, see there, see there. Because God know. <laughs> every now and then, everybody you ask ten people, them give you ten different answers. Definitely. So you don't know. Even guys. on YouTube, some of them say icon, you know. I know. I realize. Yeah, yeah but it's icon people. Don't get yeah. it twisted. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, man, Kemar. So we know Shaggy is one of your mentors, right? Yeah. Tell me how that relationship came about. All right. So three years ago, I was actually signed to his label. Mm -hmm. um, I had a song buzzing overseas. I did pretty well. Um, his DJ reached out to me, mm -hmm. and from there, and they would just connect and. You know, scientist label did some work, mm. deal end, and we're looking to re-establish that deal again. Yes, so, very nice. What song was that? Um, the song was titled Oh Gosh. Oh, yeah. oh gosh. Yeah, man, I know that one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so nice. That was about three years ago. And, you know, ever since then, we maintained a relationship. Um, it's always been a mentor from even before that, you know what mm. I mean? Because it's somebody I know before mm. all of that. Nice, very nice. Interesting. So, yes, indeed. <laughs> so, we know that Shaggy is one of your mentors, as we just said, but mm -hmm. he also has very positive things to say about you in terms of your professionalism, your work ethic, all of that. So, how did you impress Shaggy, you know, that much that he would say, wow, came our professionalism and all of that on point? I mean, it's simply, you know, mm -hmm. in life, you just do what is required of you to do. Mm -hmm. If you want to win, you just show up and do what you're supposed to do. That's mm -hmm. all it takes. Be consistent. That's all it takes. Mm -hmm. And that's what I do. I apply myself. So if I have to be somewhere, I'll be there. I try to be on time as much as possible. Um, you know, Jamaicans, we always, always, mm -hmm. always find a way to be late. But I try, to, I, I try to discipline myself as if I work for somebody and not for myself. Uh. You know, I want people to respect my time, so I try to respect people's time. That's very impressive. Shit, so as a man where I work, even myself, like, me have a busy schedule. We can imagine your schedule, like, <laughs> yeah. You don't know you yeah, are both. So you think so you can manage a relationship with the schedule where you have right now because the girl them out there well want to come out and want to walk go on. With them the, cute face. Isn't it? <laughs> I mean, relationship is what you make it, you know. And if you find a partner that is willing to go through this journey with you mm. and, and understand that it takes a lot of you not being home, mm. being away, you know, for a long period of time, then all for it, you know. Find somebody that match you. Find somebody that understand that, listen, there's a lot of sacrifice have to make to make this thing work. You know? Mm. Yeah. So, so you say anything is possible. Even if you find the right one right in now. Them, who, them. Who, who knows if I don't find the right person already? Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Don't waste the girl in the life. As I said. By the way, I get Kemar in right, trouble, right? right? No, I, I, can't, I can't get in trouble for, 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 for things like this. You know? Man she saying, can't she get in that trouble. No, I can't. I'm, I'm responsible for me. You know what I mean? I'm just talking so people mm. understand that if you do choose to do something and the person don't support you or match where you're going in life, mm. then when you go in two different directions, it won't work. True. Yeah. Very true. A message to the youths then. So given that you are a fairly young artist, you, you recently started out in your career and you've achieved so much success. What would you have told yourself a couple of years ago and to younger artists just starting out? Um, be humble and hungry. Mm. Um, don't change and do everything from a genuine place, be from your heart. So don't worry about what you can gain or what you're supposed to gain. Just mm -hmm. work and as you go, you will gain what you're supposed to gain. So whatever you put in, that's what you basically get out. Um, there's no time limit and when you're supposed to peak or when you're supposed to gain success rather. For me, you just work. Mm -hmm. Wherever you reach, you'll get mm -hmm. your, your rewards for that. I can't tell you, say, yo, work five years and this will happen in five years. Just work mm -hmm. and do it from a genuine place. It will just manifest in whatever you want it to be. Definitely. Some people get them bust in two years, some people get them bust in ten years. What happens is people pay attention to other people's journey. Everybody, mm. everybody journey is different. The mm -hmm. universe sets your journey for so you. True. And that's what I mean. it might happen for you in five years. Mm. Mm. Some people one year. Some people in months. Mm -hmm. And that's what I mean. But I feel like the longer you, you're on your journey, you would appreciate it more. 
All right, so social. talking about the journey to success, you know, right? Social media is playing a big part in artists' journey nowadays. Yeah. But one interesting take that somebody shared with me was that if you notice, a lot of people don't get the support from them close friends on social media. Mm -hmm. It's really strange as them getting a lot of support mm -hmm. from. I don't know if you find that true and what you think about that. I feel like my, my friends support me. Well, that um, was evident. From, from yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> Big situation <laughs> going on today, but <laughs> yeah, yeah Maybe later. <laughs> but I don't know yeah. if we follow it up or this close. <laughs> yeah. yeah, um, but support mm -hmm. in general, you don't necessarily look for support, you understand? You work and you will gain support. Mm -hmm. That's how I look at it. And as I said, people close to you don't necessarily support you, mm -hmm. which is fine. You just find a group of people that support you and you build on that. So you find a little clique or your clan and you just build on that. You feed that clan, and if you feed that clan, they will tell other people about you and that automatically build your clang in a bigger clang. Mm. You understand me? And then the people that we don't support you automatically just become the wagonists and just jump on and say, hey, I'm going to support the thing. But for me, I don't really pay attention to things that negatively affect my journey. Mm. So people not supporting me, I'm fine with that. Mm. It's not everybody going to support me. I understand that. It's not everybody going to like my music. It's not everybody going to like me. You understand me? We all have choices in life and that's what I just understand. Straight. Which is right. I'm sure it saved you a lot of unhappiness along the journey. Yep. <laughs> Supporting support you, right? Basically. Yes, which is right. <laughs> so on the topic of social media now, something recently did go on with conscience on social media. I'm sure you did hear about it, mm -hmm. right? It was a big little controversy. Yeah. But I'm just curious for you as a young male artist, big your opinion, of course, of course, of <laughs> course, every time. But I'm just curious. I actually really rated that. Let me just straight up say that. I yeah. rated his, his perspective. So hold on, hold on. Yeah, forgive me. Yeah, forgive me. No, of course, a bit of course. Of course. Definitely. Is it me? Definitely, definitely. So okay. the whole so background. <laughs> <laughs> the whole background was that essentially conscience was saying big up to the man them what that support their queens and not big them up because a lot of men especially in our culture are not doing that mm -hmm. and they have their bunch of girls right yeah. and they don't give their queen enough support and enough ratings and enough just to lift her up okay right so i'm just curious for you as a young artist mm -hmm. for someone like a conscience to come out and say something like that what was your perspective on that i mean as i said i come in conscience mm. because for being a public figure and just our culture, mm -hmm. you know, we have a lot of ego strokers in our culture. Mm -hmm. So a man, he say, yo, dog, you have 10 girls, you have girlies. Mm -hmm. But for him doing that, people will probably look down on it. And it's not wrong, you understand me? If, if, if you do something that you feel like it is wrong, it is okay to say sorry, you understand mm -hmm. me? And you can do it publicly. Because if you do something wrong in public, you understand me? Apologize for it. In you public. can apologize Definitely. for it in public or if the public know about it. But mm. as I said, not everybody will agree with what he did. Some people might say, oh, you should have dealt with it in a different way. But I felt like he felt like that was needed mm. at that point, and that's what he did. You understand me? Can't knock him for it. He spoke his truth, right? Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. Can't knock him for that at all. So, on the topic of conscience as well, people have often said. <laughs> You know where I'm going with this. Yeah. People have often said that you and him look a lot alike. So, so how do you feel about that comparison? Because sometimes I see you're just like, okay, everyone thinks I look like a conscience. Funny story. Yeah. I was in the airport one day, mm -hmm. wearing a pair of Ray-Bans, not these exactly. Mm -hmm. And this lady run me down. Conscience. <laughs> and I'm like, lady, I'm not conscience. <laughs> She's like, no, take off your glasses. Take off your glasses. You're conscience. I have to take out my ID because she actually know Conscience's wow. real name because she's a big Conscience fan. Mm. So I'm like, oh, you're a big Conscience fan and you're mistaking me for Conscience. She's like, no, seriously, at glance, you look just like Conscience. So I was like, <laughs> Bare right. things. But it's, it's not a bad thing, you know what I mean? It's good. Yeah, so it's it's a, good it is a work married. with it, yeah, but definitely. I came out. Yeah. And conscience, yeah. I can't change. Conscience, I came out. Conscience, I came out. Right. 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 But it's not a bad comparison. It's not at a bad. All. Yeah. Definitely. Talented. But she, I forgot to say that. Isn't <laughs> <laughs> I would say that's even a compliment, so okay. you're good. All right. <laughs> yeah. All right, cool. So, for a more music vibes, you know, for the year, yeah, this year going good for you. Yeah. Right? Definitely. How many songs you dropped this year? <sighs> I'd say about. 15. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. So you're going to put all of them on your YouTube channel. Now for some of them is collabs. Some of them is collabs. Um, my EP actually was released on D Music. Okay. And then it came down to be re released again. 
Okay, so okay. some of those songs, the public saw them and then they come back off. So it would be out again on D Music. Yeah, man, Big Up D Music, D -music is the yeah. actual a sponsor of the show as yeah. well. Mm. So Big Up Digital um, D Music app. Yeah. You guys should download it. You guys will find all the new camera icons on there. And my EP that was exposed to the public, mm -hmm. it's off, but it's going back. So just look out for that on D Music. Yeah, Mad, man. nice, nice, it's nice. Be wicked. Yeah. So 15 songs just this year, and I know you have a bunch more before that. Yeah. So would you say So Saucy is at the top of the list? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So songs, I feel like So Sassy is one of those staple songs. Mm. It's a it's a mood, it's a mood driven song. You hear it in a mood. You have to get up and dance. Yeah. Mm. Definitely. Yeah, and I'm not just saying it because it's just me. You no, I agree. I, I feel I like it's a, it's a song that it put in a vibe. Mm. In the home getting dressed, you can play it. In mm. the club you can play it. It's it's a song that fits. Clean family yeah. fun, is yes. it me? Yes. Everywhere True. barbecue, yeah. Yeah. Sunday. Very Good to definitely. go, in a matter. Definitely. I'm surprised yeah. the sauce company don't squeeze in a little. <laughs> wait, wait, so, wait, um, wait. Okay, come in. <laughs> I have to big up um, Digi Digicel. Mm -hmm. I, I was the face of their um, summer campaign. Definitely. I'm also partner with them for their D Music app. Mm -hmm. And I saw me. Um, Pizza Hut. Mm -hmm. you know, I'm also the face of Pizza Hut. So, Pizza Hut have a lot of sauce. <laughs> <laughs> you got got pizza. Definitely. Pizza yeah. Pizza yeah. Pizza every time. Check out the show. I look some more sponsored. <laughs> <laughs> which is right, which is for right. Sure, Squeeze that sure. in. So um I understand that you went to high school with Chris Martin. Yeah. A lot of people don't know that. Yeah, a lot of people don't know that. What high school was that? San Diego High School, oh, the best high school. Uh, best yeah. high school overall in Jamaica. Nobody argued me. Boy, I have something to say about <laughs> that, but we have to Arden, I'm an Arden alma mater. So <laughs> <laughs> I just have to big up my school. It may not be good on the trap, but we're good in school challenge quiz, you know? So what San Diego won school challenge okay, quiz. Okay, well that um, was recently. Okay. I'm talking yeah, about when I was stay out on the politics <laughs> ah, yeah. campaign night, but it's like a stay out on the politics. <laughs> oh gosh, I'm surprised a campaign night that I get it bored No, nah, no, nah, it's alright. I'm just like I go and hold my space right here, so it's with me. Yeah. <laughs> alright, a joke. Yeah, so I attended high school with Christopher Martin. He's as a good friend of mine. Mm. Um, a lot of people don't know that. Yeah, um, people will see us yeah. together. Um, I've currently, they probably won't see us now because, you know, I'm a little bit more busy, but mm. before I used to always go on the road with Chris. Mm. Um, mm. Went to high school together. Um, as Dear and Chris journey started, you know, from Rising, even before Rising Star, from mm. Mr. and Mrs. San Diego. Mad, mad, yeah. mad, mad, mad. Wow. Yeah. Were you Mr. San Diego? No, he won he Mr. Won. San Diego. Oh, okay, gotcha. And then from there, Rising Star, and then from Rising Star, you have this so him, big him, deal him box. Older than you, no? Yeah. Okay. That's a little bit older. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So big up Christopher Martin. Mad, every mad, time. mad. Every mad. time. Definitely. St. Diego Link, one yeah. link. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Which is right. So you mentioned that um, you're signed to Shaggy. Yeah. Right? But you also have some collaborations with Ding Dong. And it's clear that, you know, you're good with Ramesh and Ramesh's camp. So yeah. I was actually going to ask you if you were assigned to him. but Signed to Ramesh. No, listen, Ramesh um, support me from day one. Hmm. So I have to be good for Ramesh. Um, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a brother where he look out for, for people, mm -hmm. generally. So I just have to big him up, you know, even though I'm not signed to his label. He does book for me. He does support me. you. Yeah, he does. Yeah, because we see a part booking. with Jade now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was going to ask about yeah. that too. I have to big up Jade. Jade, yeah. Jade, 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 Jade has supported me from day one. Straight. Like, like, I love Jade. Aww. Yeah, so big up Jade. But as I said, the whole Ramesh family, you know, has been good to me. Mm -hmm. Ding is like a bigger brother to me. Okay. Always I give me pointers and show me little things that I need to know. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we got the whole Ramesh family. Definitely, it's good yeah. to have big brothers in the industry, right? Sure, Definitely. sure. It's, the goal is to, 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 to learn from the people that already know it. Mm -hmm. People that already walk the journey, so mm -hmm. you don't make the same mistakes. As I said, in our culture, ego kind of mm. fight that. So, so we true. feel like we have to go through the same things that somebody else already got through. When they can tell us, hey, yo, listen to me. Don't do that. Don't do that. Yeah. Or do this or whatever. Mm -hmm. You're never too old to learn. Mm -hmm. You have to be True. open to learn in order to grow in this business. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Real loving talk, the attitude, man, Kemal. Talk. Loving it, loving it. True. So what about Shensia now? Because I would love to say like a collab between Kemar and Shensia. So that can go on? Yeah. yeah. Um, not now before time. If it's True. supposed to happen, it happen. The universe wanted to happen, it to happen. Mm. Um, big up Shensia also. Yes, every time. Yeah. <laughs> she always have good words of encouragement to give me. So oh, that's nice. big up Shen. Mm -hmm. Big up the Shen Yang then. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yes, definitely. So, I know you went to school in Arizona, right? Um, actually, I went to University of Phoenix, oh, University which is of Phoenix. based out of Arizona, but okay. they also have a campus in Norwalk, Connecticut. So, you were in Connecticut? Yeah. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah. Okay, so 
what was that like? I, I, it's not often that you hear a dancehall artist when you don't go to a Connecticut and go to school, especially college. So, um, it was it was a fun experience. Mm. Um, I had classes on campus and online. I used to look forward to going to classes mm, because you know really? online is kind of a little bit different because you get so distracted from doing other Actual things. Work. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, So I used to always look forward to going on campus, but it was a fun experience. I studied criminal justice. I was just gonna ask, wow, criminal <laughs> justice? Oh, snap, for real? So you want justice. to be a police? I was actually Loyal? supposed to be a police <laughs> officer. Yeah, like my twin sister, my twin sister is a police oh, officer. Oh, you have a twin? You have a twin? Yeah, my twin sister. Hold on, wait. Oh, <laughs> no, <that's... laughs> People what? don't know them thing here. Identical? Uh -huh. <laughs> pretty much, pretty much. We yeah, look alike. Kind of. Yeah. Oh. So I say, we can get arrested by, by a girl that kind of resembles yeah. tomorrow. <laughs> I come out of the road, I have to wash myself. Yeah. So, oh, yeah, my twin sister, um, she's actually a police officer. I was supposed to be a police officer, but then, after my third year of college, I was like, yo, Nah, I'm going to do music because mm. I always had that passion for music. It was a big part of me. I, I like I like anything that has to do with the art form. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I started doing music from criminal justice to music. To music. To music. <laughs> yeah, that's a, it's a drastic <laughs> transition. Right, yeah, definitely, and, definitely. And the funny part about this is when I decided that I wanted to do music, nobody wanted to voice me. Hold on, wait. That's what I'm going to ask you. Yeah. Are you based in the States or in Jamaica? Because I'm back and forth. Mm. I'm back and forth. And I'm back and forth enough to people, for people to think that I live both places. Straight, I swear say you're a foreign dancer artist, you know what I mean? Um, I can't say I'm, I'm, I'm from the States, because most of my time before I break was in the States. Really? Okay. Yeah. But you have a Jamaican accent too though. I don't look, listen, I'm Jamaican. Yeah, which 100%. Right. I love Jamaican. that, I love that. Yeah, I, I, bring, I embrace my culture mm -hmm. to the fullest, I don't, I don't try to yes, alter no nothing. No, oh my gosh, people go up there for six months and then start yeah. twang twang. <laughs> but started doing music um, in Connecticut at link up with Trackstar. Mm. He's also the producer of Walking Trophy. Oh. Yeah, man, big up track yeah, star yeah, in there. Yes, definitely. The producer of the Pum Pum, as, that's a song with Sequence and Shaggy that um, with Carl G. It's a big song in the Spanish market, mm. you know, Soul Gold. So, mm. track star actually did my artist development, you know, because I, I listened back to some of my songs them back in the days. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I'll never make it. <laughs> So after Big Up Chapman, he took the yeah. time out to help me develop my career and mm. here I am at now. Mad, 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 mad. That's awesome. So would you say that going to college helped you in terms of your business as a musician? Definitely. Mm -hmm. And I encourage anybody at all in life, um, if you can further education, do it. Mm. Um, knowledge is power. The more mm -hmm. you know, it's the more you grow. Um, and not everybody have the same journey that's going to go to college and end up with a degree or whatever. Mm. But if you can, just to learn and expand your knowledge, mm. Mm. just do it, I advise you to. Because it's it, 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 it critical at some point that you know Definitely. some things, you know, versus Definitely. some people know and you don't, you know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Knowing is always good. I even realized something about you, your um, attention and your how you approach music yeah. is more business-like. Yeah. You know, you have a more business approach to music and I, and I rate that. Definitely. I mean, I love it. Mm. I love it from like the bottom of my mm -hmm. heart. Mm. I see it. But the business part of it is critical. Mm. And I feel like we need to enforce business more, especially in our culture. I agree. Mm -hmm. You know, be more serious about our business. That way we won't complain about people sampling our music or people taking our music. Mm -hmm. You know, mm. if, we, if we do it the, biz, the business aspect of it correctly, yeah. mm -hmm. then we won't have those problems. Straight. So, interesting in terms of a, a college experience, St. Diego, you, you've done big up already. So, how you self-identify in terms of you, let's say you's a, you would look on yourself as an uptown youth? <laughs> <laughs> or, or, or not? Um, I fit in anywhere, and I, me, I, I fit just anywhere. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't classify myself as an uptown youth. Mm -hmm. um, Have you been called that before? Yeah. Um, and in other words, my, the reason why I'm asking it that way there is because I mean, first want to see your reaction, second, I <laughs> want to see how, first of all, what your answer is, yeah. Yeah, right? and then how you feel that affect you in the industry. Mm -hmm. Listen, um, it don't matter where you come from. It don't define your success or your journey. For me, people would say, Yo, on a other program I did an interview um, prior, mm. um, they classify me as a dancehall plant because nobody saw my journey. 
nobody believed my journey. You know, yeah. you know say, oh, he's an uptown youth, he have a backing, and he just big in that business now. No, um, I have a journey. People might not see it because not everybody can yeah. follow your journey. Your friends follow your journey mm -hmm. because your friends are there from start. Mm -hmm. When you reach a glory point now, that's when you probably gain fans and supporters, which is fine. Mm -hmm. You understand me? That's when people start paying attention to you. Media, whoever. You mm -hmm. understand me? So nobody really going to see your journey rather yeah. mm -hmm. if they're not on the journey with you. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't say I'm an uptown youth. You know, um, my family was always there for me. Had a very tight family structure, mm -hmm. both parents, you know, parents separate in a later part of my life, mm -hmm. so I understand all of that. So I wouldn't say I'm fortunate, but my parents provide everything for me to the point of where when I get to an age where I'm able to manage myself, I understand that if I should ever have kids, I'd do the same. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you don't have nothing to do with uptown or downtown. Yeah. You're just raised well. You just, <laughs> yeah, your family structure well, yeah. parents mm -hmm. grow well, yeah. and that's how it passed down. Okay. Makes sense. All right. Good Makes answer. Sense. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Very, very politically correct. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so living overseas, do you think that has hindered your growth as a dancehall artist? Meaning that you know you're not in the necessarily the grit of the Jamaican dancehall. No. No, not at all. Um, you, you can do music from anywhere in the world now. Um, you really no, believe in that? Yeah. There's no. In, in other words, if you feel like so, you did have to come Jamaica, come campaign, though, you feel right. <sighs> Um, it's by choice. Hmm, that's so interesting. It's a, it's, it's a choice you choose to make. Because social media connects everybody. Mm. So just as how things pick up on social media and go viral, mm. as simple as an accident or whatever, mm. the same way music, you understand me? Just make good songs, believe in your product, promote your product. If you feel like you need to go to Jamaica or Africa, wherever mm. you feel like you need to be to make it work for you, then you do that. Mm. For me, I felt like Right, being overseas, I've already established the whole Kemar Icon, the Sauce Boss brand. Mm -hmm. So I just took it to Jamaica. So where is the biggest strong base in foreign? Connecticut or...? The Tri-State area. Okay. Like the whole Tri-State area. And I would say Florida. So anywhere that's dominant in dancehall. So mm -hmm. the Florida, the Boston, the Connecticut, the New Jersey, mm -hmm. the New York. Yeah, yeah. So anywhere in that area, mm -hmm. I'm pretty known. And the same, outside of that, now you know you have to you don't reach a Europe, you don't reach a Europe yet? Um, England, yeah. England, yeah. okay. So you buy two bad clocks and things. <laughs> <laughs> I don't wear clocks. You clocks. don't wear clocks? I don't wear clocks. Oh, Sass don't, don't that. wear clocks. <laughs> don't tell this man that. Nah, well, yeah, that's why I got to each his own, isn't clocks. it? Definitely. Own. I mean, I had wear clocks before, mm. like, in prep school, mm. but it wasn't like, I only wouldn't call it a real clock because it's not one of the, the of originals. Of originals. <laughs> nah, yeah. you did have one of them, them grandfather clocks there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, at, that, at that start, okay. you have man, yeah. on a bad journey, <laughs> where you just can't appreciate it. Yeah, now, but, but it's all right, you see me? Of excusing. Yes. <laughs> yeah, so don't knock me for that. All right, but all right, understandable. Pick up everybody with your clocks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Same way. Yeah, yeah some yeah, people right. say it's not comfortable upon them foot, and then everybody else loves it. I mean, I, I try to be different. Clocks is dominant in our culture. Okay. Um, so it's by choice. It's like yeah, it's yeah, by every choice. man I wear clocks. Yeah. You know, I don't, really... I, listen, my goal is to always stand out and be different. Mm. Stand out like the book cover. I can't be the last page. <laughs> so if I walk into a room, mm. there's, I don't feel like nobody should look at me and not wonder who am I. Then just get a bad mm. clocks. Yeah, so who's that man? They must be somebody. Yeah. Exactly. You yeah. have to look like somebody. I believe in that. Yeah. And it's a part of marketing. Yeah. Very Hence true. the brand Sass Boss. Very true. So, the whole business thing I was talking about. Exactly. I see it. So I see it. I, see I have it. to I have to I, I always strive to be a little bit different. Mm. Mm. So I, I don't look like no any other dance artist. Makes sense true. still if you go in a I room, don't. you know, and you have one of clocks, you know, want to see ten other clocks. Exactly, you know, yeah, that's and yeah, that yeah, is yeah, just yeah. dominant in our yeah. culture. Yeah. Don't not nobody wear clocks. I'm just not a class. Not your thing. Yeah. Got you. Got you. Now, in a previous interview, you mentioned that you, yourself and Trackstar found a particular sound or a particular vibe that is just like you find it. Yeah. Right? I, I'm not going to embarrass myself and attempt to make the sound, <laughs> <laughs> but I heard it and I agree. So tell me a little bit more about that. Um, <coughs> Trackstar is the person that developed my sound. Mm -hmm. Like, he know my sound. He know how to produce my voice. Mm. So every song that I found since Sassy, that track produced for me, Mm. has more streams or more popularity because he knows my sound. He mm. knows what to do to my voice. Mm -hmm. um, of course, over a period of time of me voicing for other people, they would automatically 
learn and know how to produce my voice. So with me and Chuck, we have a chemistry mm -hmm. that it is just undeniable. Mm -hmm. You understand me? And we do it in great timing. We don't rush it. So we did the first two songs, which is Saucy and Talk About, mm -hmm. which is my two of my biggest songs yeah. right now. Um, and still doing well, you understand me? Chuck was coming to the airport the other day, well, two days ago. Mm -hmm. And one of the custom officers saying to, saying to him that, you know, because she sent him like, why you have so much equipment in your bag? And I we'll say, oh, I do music. She's like, who sang it, who sang it produce? And he's like, oh, Saucy. She's like, yeah, it's one of the biggest songs right now. Uh, Saucy is one year old. You yeah. know what I mean? So oh, it's still huge. It's yeah, still and people huge. still gravitate into mm -hmm. it. It's, 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 I, I would fear to say it's a timeless song. Talk about too is one of them songs that is a feel good song. Definitely. And it would be timeless too. You know, mm -hmm. I speak things thing existence. Yep. Can't go wrong with the timeless songs then. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. So, so you're there, as you say, Sauce been out for a year. That's, I think that, as you say, that's the song that most people know. Yeah, that's my brand. You're from. If, when you talk about Sauce, you talk about oh, me. Oh, yeah, man. Right? Yeah. When I but play you, in a party, everybody dancing. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. So that gave you enough exposure and experience more than before. But what would you say bothers you about dancehall right now? Um, no unity. Mm. Mm. Wow. Interesting Quick take. answer. Quick and, and interesting take. And Quick and interesting. I feel like... Yeah. I feel like everybody is trying to be the man, mm -hmm. and trying not to help the man. and not help dance mm -hmm. or be dance mm -hmm. Nobody needs to be the man. Just be dance mm -hmm. Everybody can be dance and I feel like what is there for you, nobody can take that. You get what I say? So you don't have to compare yourself. You don't have to try to size up yourself. You know what I mean? Just be for dance You see me? Mm -hmm. Unity works. Mm -hmm. You understand me? And, 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 and I see it far too many times where we try to compare ourselves and then it automatically becomes a competition. Yeah, music is a competitive thing. I agree. Mm. Hence why we have numbers and things like that. But I feel like as a culture, we try to compete amongst ourselves so much and it divides the culture in so mm -hmm. many different ways that so true. people just come in and just take out what they want to take out. Yep. Mm. And we, sure. we don't have nobody to really Getting stand guard now, yeah. for, for, for <laughs> the culture. Yeah, and, so and, and it's coming from a genuine mm -hmm. place, it's just what I see and so what I observe. divide and rule kind of vibes. Yes. Yep. So, me, I don't care to be the man. I don't want to run dance hall. Mm -hmm. You understand me? I want to be a part of dance hall. Mm -hmm. I want to be a part of dance hall where the people remember, you know? I want to be where you'll never forget. Mm -hmm. Just like a Shaggy and a Sean Paul. You understand me? When you talk about dance hall, you have to mention Shaggy and Champal. Mm. Straight. And these are people that bring dancehall on levels that dancehall never been. So places that dancehall never imagined to go. True. So facts. Don't worry about True. being the man. Don't worry about running the place. I don't care to run the place. I don't want mm. to run the place. I said being the man. I thought you said being the man while I No. <laughs> <laughs> no, big up being the man. Big up being the man. Big up being the man. Yeah, because being the man is actually one of the the columns in dance hall. For sure, man. And the me. love that Beanie Man showed me. Yeah. Um, he didn't have to look for me as a young artist, you know, and he always have words of wisdom to me. I'm good with everybody in dance hall. So I'm just saying to everybody, just be for dance hall mm -hmm. and don't be for yourself. For don't sure. divide the culture, unite the culture. Important. For sure, for sure. So yeah, man. important. Yeah, man. So, Kemar, where do people in Campania on social media? Because you know we want to follow the progress, <laughs> etc. So, at Kemar Haikan, which is K E M A R H I G H C O N. Mm -hmm. That's for all digital platforms, all social media, mm -hmm. you can find me. And I do try to interact a lot with my fans. Mm -hmm. So if you tag me in something, I repost it. If you reach out to me and I can help you with something, I try to help you. I do try to respond, respond to messages. Mm -hmm. The message them get a little bit too <laughs> crazy. Sometimes, of course. I leave them alone. Another thing, quick before you left, too. I know so you say you sell merch as well, right? Yeah. Anywhere people can get the merch? Um, my website is actually under construction now. So okay. you can actually reach out to my Instagram page, which is verified. Mm. Which is Kemal Haikan. Like said official one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and um, if you have any concerns about that, I can direct you. Or you can just email the email address in the bio or the number. Yeah. And you can get the merch or whatever. So the, the website is www.kemalhaikan.com, which is under construction. So just follow me on our digital platform. Keep on support, supporting the journey. I don't have fans. I have supporters. Mm, love it. Fans are people that blow all over the place. Mm -hmm. 
All right. Mad vibes. Great. <laughs> Yo, come on. Great, great vibes, come on. Great talk. Love it. Love okay, it. Look. Definitely. Can't wait to see what more you do.